What my goal is here is to talk to everybody who's a musician, an entertainer, at all, everybody in the business. I want to talk to everybody. We all have dreams that we want to do. We want to play our music. We want to still survive through this wonderful thing they call the pandemic that has taken it and said, okay, you can't play live events. You can't have this. You can't, you can't, you can't. I trained professional fighters at one time. And we fought in a fight gym where we had a lot of cussing going on. And the only two four-letter words that I did not allow in my gym was can't and quit. And the only way I allowed anybody to use either of those two words was if they used them in the same sentence. And that was by saying, I can't quit. So I want to encourage everybody who is a musician, plays an instrument, wants to be a movie star, wants to entertain, every entertainer. And, I'm, and I know this applies to first responders and everybody else too, but I'm going to focus on people that are chasing a dream that has been told, you know, get a real job and all that crap all their life. And here's the major secret. I'm going to do this like one of those videos you buy on Facebook that shows you how to get muscular in 30 days. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to show you on this video how you too can be a star. Okay? Here's the trick. See this right here? This is your butt. Yeah. It's a major part of being a star because if your butt is not standing on or sitting on a stage, a movie set, or at an event, you have what is known as obvious buttal displacement. And sometimes you have chairs that start to sink on you. This is one of the downfalls to these adjustable stools. It gets to a point and all of a sudden I feel it start to whoop, sag down. I have to reach down, adjust it back up. I even put a ring on it. <laughs> I'll have to show you this. But I even put a little bitty ring on it trying to get it to hold up. Maybe it's just not designed to handle what we call muscular or overly muscular men. You know, people of normal weight and everything like that. So here's what I'm going to do. I want you to picture this stage here that I have here. Four foot, eight foot stage. I have several PA systems. This one here is a passport. Small. I have uh, battery powered street cubes. We're going to go play parking lot. Over there I have the monster. The uh, QSC three-way speakers, 2,000 watts each and the 24 channel mixer. I put out a lot just to try to get to where I'm going. And here's what's going to happen and what has happened. Since I decided not to let the world shut me down, not to be lost in COVIDville, and I'm going to parking lots across this country. I'm going to play my music in parking lots for whoever shows up. And I'm going to hopefully make it up on my merchandise, t-shirts, CDs and such to get to the next one, to get to the next one, to get the next one, get all the way to Nashville. But I am going to do it. I am going to play. And just since doing this on my own, if you get if your butt's not sitting on a stage and it's not sitting in a studio, if your butt's not sitting where you need it to be, you set it there and you'll find somebody else will go, hey, we like what your butt's doing. AIM Country Music TV has said, we like the fact that you're going to be on this tour and just doing it. And it's not an original idea of mine. I'd like to tell you it is, but a good friend of mine, Tom Bennett, does this. Uh, a musician, Melanie Guy, prior to COVID, did the same thing. Just traveled around in her motor home playing wherever she could make enough money to get to the next gig. 
And these are the real gypsies of today. We're we'll trying to get some of them on the show. Got a local guy here, Kevin Jones, who puts out some amazing music videos, amazing music, and he's just not part of the, I'm gonna send it to Spotify and give it away clan. So he's not as known as he could be, but he's decided, you know, his art's worth getting paid for. So he just sells out of his home, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this will be posted, so Kevin, if I'm selling something that's not true, please let me know. So right now, I usually go through the amplifier, but I'm not. I think these things are pretty good here. And so I'm going to try it just like this for this show and see how it works. And uh, you guys can be pretty much the judge of what's, what's up and what's next. But uh, here we go. This song here is one that I think is going to be on the next album. If you like this song a lot for the next album, you know, please message me, Tom Proctor Band on Facebook. Tom Proctor Band, Instagram and Twitter tell me two shots of whiskey should be on your album. I'm going to do several that, that we'll go through and we'll, we'll see how it works out. So here's one.
little place out in Hurricane. And I saw a grown man by my age start to wipe tears. I thought, well, I guess I wasn't alone in that world. <laughs> anyway, like I said, that's another one of the songs that are that hasn't been recorded yet. I do have it registered and copyrighted, all that stuff. But uh, it's one of the ones that's up to go on the album. And I'd love to hear what y'all think. I really would. Um, this will get a little more exposure once it goes on main TV uh, and country music TV on Roku. And they're going to cover our traveling show, you guys. All y'all want to watch that. So uh, here's another one. Being a biker, you know, those biker things are going to come out. Here's another musician struggling just like I am, 
and yet he'll take his energy and say, here, how, what can I do to help you along? So this, I'm just going to express this again. You say, nobody's going to put me on a stage. Well, I put myself on a stage. I got a stage. I don't have a place for a stage. Yes, you do. You got a little space with a light that will go against the wall somewhere. You've got iPhones or galaxies. There's your camera crew. You notice I don't have a camera crew. I don't have anything set up. But I am, you know what? Maybe what I'm doing here ain't going to work at all. But I feel good about it. I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like, you know, if I can just sell enough CDs, T-shirts, and, you know, I got to learn how to set up a, uh, what they call it, virtual tip jar or whatever. I'd rather sell CDs and, and T-shirts. I'm going back to, to Nashville. I'm going to record at Omni Studios. Phenomenal. Wayne and those guys there. Uh, man, well, we did Born to Ride in there. You look at Born to Ride on YouTube. Tom Proctor show. Uh, look at the caliber of the music there. Unbelievable. I've been very blessed, very lucky. And here's what the trick is to being blessed and being lucky and getting your stuff out there, getting the shows and getting hired. You got to do this. Get off your butt unless you're setting it on a stage. I sat on a stage a lot because I've had this foot blown off in a stunt accident. And sometimes you walk around on the stage hurts a lot. Uh, it don't hurt as much as not being on stage. The energy, I love it. All I can say is God bless every one of you. God bless this great country because it is still a land of opportunity. We all say, when things going to get back to normal? Got my opinion of that too. If you want the world according to Tom Proctor. I don't think it's going to ever get back to the normal we've known. I think we've got to reinvent our normal. That's why I'm going to literally, with this stage, this truck and trailer, get a picture of this stage sitting in front of this truck and trailer and parked in the parking lot anywhere. And one guy on it, two guys on it, or it goes out the back of the tailgate, you set a drummer on the tailgate and three guitarists on the front, and you got a whole band playing the parking lot. All on battery powered and they sound phenomenal. So I wish to everybody is y'all follow your dreams. Don't let anybody stop you. I damn sure ain't going to. And if you don't mind helping me out with my dream, that's an easy thing to do. Just simply follow me on Facebook, Tom Proctor Band, Instagram. Tom Proctor Band, or Tom Proctor Films on Instagram. Tom Proctor Films is a little bigger, has more following because I've been doing movies longer and I've been doing music. And uh, Tom Proctor Band on Twitter. I am going to call some people out. I'm going to call Tom Bennett because he's here. I'm going to call him to this stage and get his side. Now here's a cowboy that really does do it. He sleeps in his van, does what he got to do, gets to the next show. Got an awesome setup. Jeez. Literally a one-man band playing a drum thing with his shoe and his tambourine, and I, you know, I can't, I can't do that. Kevin Jones is here in town. Uh, Jenny Johnson is in Arizona. Now. Kyle Sullenberg, you're there too. Um, there's a lot of great musicians throughout Arizona. I'm drawing blanks in my brain right now, and that's really screwed up because so many of them have helped me uh, find uh, some of the gigs there. Uh, I'll try to remember and get them on the next shows. Anyway, God bless y'all. Have a great day. And I hope this tape turns out because there's no amplification, no mix. It's just me raw in my uh, garage. And I just really appreciate y'all and have a happy holiday. Have a good day and God bless y'all.